would say, based on the evidence, which is my neighbor Pearl, who knows all and, and has seen most of it, uh, Pearl Johnson told me that it started in the 1950s originally. She moved there about 35 years ago, I believe it was, and uh, I moved there probably 25 years ago. We live near Massachusetts. Uh, we're diverse in, in terms of income levels and in terms of racial uh, makeup. Um, and I would, I would just say we're, we're, we're a little more laid back, a little, little more relaxed than, than some neighborhoods. I've, I've seen NESCO become um, uh, the, the umbrella organization in our neighborhood become much more solid, uh, much more established, uh, much more businesslike over the years. That's a good thing. I've seen the Spades Park Library uh, be renovated and continue to operate. And the Spades Park Library is a jewel. It's a Carnegie Library, which is built by money from James Carnegie, the steel baron. And it's at just a, a piece of history that is well preserved, well used. The children's programs are fantastic. And I'm needless to say, I'm very proud of it. The, the, the greatest asset is the people, and that's the simple answer. Uh, we have a really diverse group of people, but the people, for the most part, choose to live together quite well. But, but uh, we're self-reliant, and we are, over the time that I've been there, we have been developing our own institutions from the neighborhood association level to the John Bonner Center, uh, People's Health Center, uh, the Credit Union. These organizations and NESCO taken together form a, a source of strength, not just in people's raw abilities, but and people and how they've been organized and in, in the culture that we've developed and in the in the traditions and in the memories like I have laid out here on the table uh, that that we share that have taken place over uh, 35 years.